Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be adding this nest mini to our whole ecosystem right here. Anyways, once we plug it in some electricity, just let it be, let it start. It's going to tell you to get started, download the Google Home app. Once you guys have the Home app, which you should since you guys already have nest mini. So by the way, you don't have to have a tablet. It can be from your phone that you're doing this. It's the same thing right here. Anyways, to add it on, all we have to do is actually kind of set it up again, but it's going to remember a lot of stuff. Just close this for now, go into your settings. Under your settings, you're going to have to go into Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi, you're going to see Google Home. So just pick that Google Home and it's going to hook up. Then we're just going to start up the Google Home app. So once this connects though, so right now it says a check mark. So as long as I see a check mark, that's good. Connected to my Google Home. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Google Home app. The first thing I should see, it's going to say maybe my address, then select next. This would be the second screen. So connecting to Nest Mini. Did you hear that sound? Obviously we did, so we can just go yes on the bottom right hand side. Well, for most of you, I would recommend say yes, but you can always opt out and just on the, and just tap on the bottom left hand side instead of the right. But we're just gonna go yes. Now this device itself, it's meant to go outside. That's exactly what I'm gonna name it, Backyard. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna have to select my internet. So in this case, it's gonna be this one right here. Next, connecting to Wi-Fi. And yes, to add a Google Nest Mini to our whole ecosystem right here, I, it's just a matter of doing the setup again. However, it will skip some stuff, such as the voice recognition. It already knows our voice and everything, so we will have to just skip that, and that's great. So right now it's connected. We're just going to go on to next on the bottom right-hand side. We're going to see that. And Basically, it's all about the bottom right hand side. So you guys can see it says activate voice match on this device. We're just going to go I agree. Like I mentioned, it already knows our voice. It tells us that up here. So your system can already recognize your voice. That's perfect because we've done the setup for other Nest Minis in our house. So this already knows. Although it's a new one, it's hooking up to the whole thing. So it's connecting and knowing what's going on. So I turned off my light to see if maybe you guys can see the screen better, but with my light on, I'm guessing you guys can view this better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, saving audio. I don't mind start saving audio, but then again, I can just say not now. I am going to start saving audio. I don't mind. So I can just go ahead and say no thanks on the bottom left hand side or just go on view more and then I can just agree. I'm going to go on next and not now. I'm going to say no thanks for now. Now there's some settings that almost don't make sense because this already knows. It knows my preferences. It's just asking me again, it's kind of annoying, but it's okay. We don't have to really set everything up. So your Spotify, all that stuff should be already set up. Right now it's telling me almost done. Just hit next, learn. Well, it doesn't really matter. We know how to play this. So just go next, 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 and it's ready. Continue on. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, More. here to help. Finish to learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. So there we go. So right now, as you guys can see, my very first one says Backyard. And there we go, Backyard speaker. It's working. I can just tell it, hey Google, how's the weather today? Right now in Hamilton, it's 16 and cloudy. Tonight, the forecast is for a high of 16 and a low of 10 and cloudy. So that's it. That's how you guys can add one more into your whole ecosystem. Remember that there's a lot of setups you guys can do. You guys can have them as separate speakers or set two or three up to be surround sound, for example. So that's pretty neat if you guys would like to have this, a few in the same bedroom or something like that, which uh, I would just have two if you're going to have two. And then if you're thinking about hooking this up to your TV, it does depend on your TV. I've tested it out with Apple TVs. And they do work, but they keep disconnecting. So it's very, very annoying. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Anyways, right now, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.